Okay, so we start off with the an A major chord. Hit that twice, and then G. Just bar chords are fine. So we're gonna play the um, 10th fret on B twice. Go up to 12, down to eight. Give it a slight bend. And go to ninth fret on G. And then the rhythm section. Playing an E7, so that's open E, 7th fret A, 6th fret D, 7th fret G. And just slide into that from the fret next to it. I'm going to do an A major par chord again. And the G. So I'm just going to go to the 12th fret there. And 12, 10, 9, 10. And then 10, 12, 8. That's pretty much it for the intro, and then we have the um, little solo that comes in. So we start off with um, a hammer on from 7 to 9 on G, 7, 9 to 7 on D, slide, because you're going to need this finger to go to the 5th fret on D. Back to 7 on D, and 5 on A. And then I'm just I'm not pressing any frets there, just gently placing my finger on, on the string. And then you're gonna hit five to seven, a hammer on on the A string, five on D, seven on A. So let's do it slowly so far. A string, 7th fret, 5 on D, 6, 7, 9, and slide up to 9, 7 on G, up to 9 on G, pull off to 7, 9 on D, 7 on G again, back to 9 on D, and 7 on G. And slide down to 6 on G, hit the 7 on D twice. Then a quick um, hammer on to pull off, 6 to 7 on G. And then go down to 4 on G. Then seven on D, back to the four on G, up to six, seven, six, seven. Repeat it again. And when you get to this point, six on G, seven, and then an E power chord. 
and it goes into the verses. The verses, um, all the verses are pretty straightforward. You're just going to be playing the E7, and the A, G, and he plays this little. Um, at the end of each line, you play this um, little riff. So we're going to play. Um, we missed out the G string. I hit the twelve on D and the twelve on B. So there's the first note. Then you're going to hit eleven on A, uh, eleven on D, and uh, ten on B. And then slide that down, same position, down to um, nine on D and eight on G, uh, eight on B. Then you're gonna hit this. Go back to the um, eleven on D and ten on B. Hit that three times, and then back to the original position, and then the eight on. B and 9 on D. And that's it for the, the verses and chorus, it's just E. Um... Pretty straightforward, isn't it? A, E7, A, and G. Then we come to the solo, he has this um, pitch effect. It's just it's just doubling up the effect, so it's taking the original note and adding this note on top of it, giving it the octave effect. So we start off with the um, the solo that we heard in the intro. On the second time round, it comes to this. I'm going to do this ascending um, scale. So when you get to the ninth fret on G, you're going to go that back to 7, slide up to 11, go to 12, then up to 14, then 12 on B, 14 on B, 15, and then um, A big bend there on the 15th fret. And you have this uh, Yeah, you're going to bend up the 15th fret twice. And you come down from the 15th to 12, 14 on G, and then 12, 13, 14 on B. Then hit 14 again, pull off the 12, go to 14 on G, and 12, 14, 15 on B. And then comes the fun part, we're going to do these little... Um, pull-offs so that's the um, 12th fret you're going to make a bar the 12th fret on B and E then you're going to raise your third finger up to the 16th fret on E and then pull off to 12 So there's the first pull off. And then you're going to come down to 14 on E. Get a little closer there. I'll take the distortion off so it's a bit clearer. Uh, 
um, just picking. That's the first one, and then we're going to move down to 10 on B, 9 and 12 on E. And you can move the same shape down two frets, and just count four for each one. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then we come down to the fifth fret on B. So that's five on B. Going down to three. And then four on G. And then three to two, pull off on B. And then down to four on G. Slide up to six. Then hit the five on B. And then we have these uh, these little shapes here where um, we'll just take the um, pitch effect off. So I'm, I'm fretting the sixth fret on G and the um, fifth fret on E. I'm missing out the B string. So I'm going on six on G, five on E, and then seven on G, seven on E. Then we're going to go to nine on G and keep the seven on E, and then nine on G, nine on E. And then finish on seven on G, seven on E. And then for the last chorus during the outro, he's playing some improvisational stuff. And the first lick is just fourteen, bend, bring it back. Twelve on E, fifteen on B, twelve on E. 14 on E, back to 12, and then exactly the same but on the next string set, bend 14, bring it back, 12, 14 on G, 12 on B, 14, 12, and then you'll hear the same, um, uh, well sort of the same. The really fast um, arpeggios that we heard earlier. And uh, obviously the rhythm section is playing the... The um, E7, A and G. And I think that pretty much covers the whole song.